Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We are the RC Sailors, and in today's video, we're gonna do a full review of the Bo Zhang S5C-2. They Sweet. call this the Tracker Drone. It's a pretty cool name for a quad, isn't it? It is, and we got ours from Litech.com for about $40, yeah. give or take a couple pennies. We'll have a link for you in the description box below if you wanna check it out yourself. The prices change on these sometimes. This part of the video is going to be the unboxing, so let's take a look at everything that comes inside. Here is a very broken English instruction manual. And orange! I think this is our first orange ah! quad ever. Ah, that's, so good. <laughs> that's pretty nice. That's I like so that orange. bright. Why? They should all be bright like that. That's nice. I like this. Okay. Oh, I hope all these are lights. One, two, three, four, five. And then they're on the bottom two, four of them. Oh, and there's a camera. Yeah, we have a transmitter in here. It looks like a pretty basic transmitter. Prop and guards, four of them. I see landing Two gear. Two landing gear that are black to match the bottom of the quad. And in this little baggie, we have two spare props, a USB charger. We have a screwdriver, a lot of screws to hold on things like prop guards and landing gear. And surprisingly, there is a little silver chrome um, little tip you got a spare one in case that guy comes off, and that's kind of nice that they included that. This is like the Halloween quad. I think that's, that's what cool. we'll call it. Yeah. Is there a battery? Is there a battery? Here, I got it. But why, why is the card converter USB thingy bright green? Why? <laughs> oh, that's cool that it comes with the converter. And it came with the, its own SD I card, see that. so that's awesome. Yeah, finally. Oh, like an extra one of these thingies. All right, uh, your battery is already box. inside here. It's one cell, of course, and it looks like a 600 milliamp battery, so that's not a bad size. Charger. I'm really surprised that it not only came with the converter, but it also came with the SD card yeah. for $40. That's pretty I nice. I have high hopes for this one. That's pretty nice. Let's go fly. Okay. This is like safety quad brightness. That is the <laughs> brightest quad I love it. we own, even in this overcast I day. I can't wait to see the lights on it and everything. It's uh, it's so bright, so that's pretty neat. And uh, you will need four AA batteries for your transmitter. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll go over the details of what the buttons do, because that seemed to be pretty popular. You guys liked when I did that, so we'll uh, go over most of that at the very end. I've charged the battery. Let's get everything kicked on. So throttle down, quad on first on this guy. The lights do look great. Transmitter green on. Green lights and red lights. Throttle up, throttle down, and now we have juice. So let's. Take I think I'm gonna like this one. To the sky. I like the way it sounds. Yeah. That is nice and quiet. Let me go ahead and start filming so you guys get camera quality. But these low rates is when filming is the best because it's nice and slow and smooth and uh, I'm in rate one so everything that I do is very gentle and smooth looking and then I'm uh, Nate from the RC Sailors so I go rate two and we fly a little faster but hey that's not fast enough so let's go rate three and let's have some real fun now. It's actually flying really well. I like this a lot. Man, it's nice and quiet. You never really know about these quads ever until you get them in the air. You can look at them online all you want, look at the manufacturer's videos, and they're always gonna look great, uh, but you never really know until you see them in the sky like this. Uh, it's flying really well. I'm sure it's easy to see for you guys too. I know, I was just thinking that like a lot of times the black and the white blend in with the tree line. Not this one. Let's see here. Hold it. Well, I'm doing the flip. Maybe it won't flip with the camera. Sometimes they don't. Quit recording. I'll try it. Okay. Camera off. Let's uh, try this again. I'm holding it and I'm pressing it, and it's not flipping. I'm doing every single combination of stuff I know how to do. Okay, that was headless mode. It beeps in headless mode. I do not like that. And so we'll try it again. We'll see if it actually flies. So, yeah, it's kind of flying in headless mode, but not very well. So, I'll turn that off. 
That was not a good headless mode quad. And it has returned home. Uh, it no. Didn't even no. come close. Okay, got her back. I got her back. We're okay. So those the compass in this one is not great. Hopefully that camera quality is good. I'm gonna show you guys the lights on and off, and then I think I'll let Abby fly it here. So there is a button to turn the lights on and off too. So if you want to save your battery or just fly, I don't know. You can turn those lights on and off. So just quick button to do that. Sweet. And then it has three rates. Abby, I'm gonna put it in rate two and let you fly. Cool. Move. Move. <laughs> you'll want to go to you'll want to go to rate two. Two beeps, that's right. Get back. Get back, buddy. Bye bye. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are stupid. Come here. Bye bye. I got him. I got him. Come here. Okay, go. Have you go. Ah, good job, buddy. Good. He decided that he likes this one enough to bark at it. I don't know what I just did. You just hit the top left one for headless mode. Top right would be flips. Oh, well, what's, how do I do the modes? Like right? Yeah. It's this button. Oh, I was doing the wrong thing. There you oh, go. Now I see. Okay. Oh. oh, nice. Look at the headlight on the front. It's a bright white light. Go away. What is it? What you think is going to happen to you? <laughs> you goober. <laughs> Just take off fast. <laughs> he's, he's loving it. So angry. He does not. Uh, I don't even think he likes the quiet ones. Rate three is the most fun to fly in. Uh, I think you guys saw. There you go. Good cyclones there. Um, I believe you guys saw Abby fall out, down on the concrete. That's pretty durable. It didn't have prop guards on or even the landing gear. So nice and durable. Doing just fine. I took some pictures. Okay. Alright. And when we see a low light, uh, blinking lights for low battery, that's when we'll want to um, hit that video button again so it saves the file. That's flying really well, isn't it? It's a great little quad. Great quad. What'd you just hit? It's trying to flip it. Nah, it's. Flips don't seem to be working on this. We've tried pretty much everything. We've tried hitting the button, then doing the flips. We've tried holding the button. It's just not, just not flipping. Yeah, it's just not doing it, is it? <clears throat> Try maybe in rate two. Try a different rate. Sometimes. Sometimes it's the rate you're in, but this is just not flipping. Just not doing what it's supposed to. That's all right though. It's okay. It's okay, no flips for this guy. They don't all have to do flips. You know, once you've done a flip uh, on one or two of them, it's okay to not have flips on another. Now this, for its pro oh, there you go. So here's that tip for you guys. Let me let me show them, Abby. Okay, so if you get in tall grass with any quadcopter and uh, give it a little juice, and one or two of the motors won't spin, just kill the throttle and come out and pick it up, get it above the grass, and do a takeoff like that. That'll save your motors so you don't burn them up. And it'll make your doggy mad. <laughs> nice. It's a nice, bright, and quiet quadcopter. It looks great. Really great flight time, too. It's covered in lights. You never know with these. This is why we do our videos, because you just, you don't know if you got a dud or not on your hands until you get it in the air. And that's exactly what we're doing here for you. I'm guessing you were filming Popeye? Yeah. We'll do that. That's good to practice low flight like that though. Look at him go. Get out of my yard, quadcopter. I'm sorry, but, oh, there goes birds, nice. I'm sorry about your luck, Popeye, but we're the RC sailors. Oh, there's the grass. So, prime example. Now, I think you're clear on that one, Abby. You should be able to take off. Nicely done. Yeah. He's not actually going to get it. He's a chicken. He's afraid of it. That's Abby on the controls. 
She's doing a great job. This is a winner. Uh, you know, as usual, I'll link the product for you in the description box below if you want to check this out for yourself. This would be a great first quadcopter for anybody because it has landing gear and prop guards and it does everything except ours doesn't seem to be doing flips, but you know, that's okay. We're getting a longer flight time out of ours because we're not using the landing gear and we're not using prop guards. Those will hurt your flight times by maybe, maybe close to a minute if you had all that stuff on there. Yeah. Nope, oh, there you go. It's probably getting low. Maybe uh, hit the video button so it saves it. Yeah. Yep, I see blinking lights. Let's take it in. Do a nice smooth landing. Oh, good job. <laughs> that was good. So let's show them those blinking lights. I know I saw them. I know I saw blinking lights. Maybe it was the angle that I was at. Okay, we'll just keep flying and having fun. You need to get some flight time in, so this is a great one for you to do that. Every time on the takeoff, Popeye's like, hey, no one's allowed to touch Nathan and Abby, except for me. Stinking quadcopter. Flying backwards there. Okay. There we go. Abby likes to fly high. She's a good high flyer. I like to fly really low and fast, fast, close to the ground. This is a great flight time. Taking pictures of the shed. I'm gonna say maybe, maybe just one or two of those pictures will have saved. I think you probably have to pause between, it looks like there's blinking lights, I kid you not. Yeah, that's, that's a blinking light. That, that is true, that's blinking, that's blinking now. Okay, so it's a faint light blinking, but there it is, now it's blinking fast. I'd say we're done, yes, fast blinking light. Pleasantly surprised. Every now and then we get our hopes up for a quad and it doesn't live up to those expectations. I think the best thing for us to do as uh, reviewers for you guys is to just come in with an open mind uh, like this, maybe yeah. even not having any expectations yeah. out of this. I really like the color and it had good flight time. Yeah. Was, and it flew really smooth and I like that about it too. The color for me is the most standout feature on this. The fact that everything else just worked was nice. Now keep in mind, Except we the flips. couldn't get our flips to work, <laughs> but it flew well. We didn't need to trim it. The lights worked, the camera seems to have worked. The different rates were great variations in rates. And uh, the headless mode and stuff actually didn't work, but a lot of times they don't at this price point. I think this was somewhere around $40. We'll have it linked for you in the description box below, but I give this one really two successful thumbs up. It, met and exceeded my expectations and so if you're looking for something bright to stand out and fly around with your friends or just a great gift quadcopter for someone to have as their first quad this would be an awesome one to add to any rc quad flyers collection as promised we're going to go over the functions of the transmitter at the end of this video everybody seemed to really like that in the last one so we'll keep up that pace for now and let's go over these things. We'll start with the basics, the front of the transmitter. They're actually pretty straightforward because these are all labeled. You have your throttle and yaw control and your flight direction on off switch and all of these are trims. In other words, if your quad is flying forward by itself, you wanna press down a few times or back and retrim that out. These two buttons here are labeled very nicely. That's a camera for photo and like a video camera for video. So there's your photo video buttons. You want to press this uh, before you turn your quad off so it saves the file to your quad. The little arrows are your rates, so you can fly very docile or aggressive. And then this light bulb will turn your quad lights on and off just by pressing that button. The top left trigger here, the button up here, is supposed to be your headless mode and return to home, but the compass on ours did not work very well, so that did not function. But most of them in this price point don't, so that's not a horrible thing. And this is supposed to be a flip button. Sometimes you press that and then give it a direction and it'll do a flip, and some quads you have to press and hold and give it a direction and it'll flip. We tried both methods and all sorts of things and different rates, and 
that just did not work. It wouldn't flip for us. Video on, video off, all that stuff. So Pretty basic on the flight controls, uh, but there's the reference if you need it or you lose your manual or something. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. See ya. Say bye, Popeye. Hey, buddy. Tell him. Tell him I like this quad. Bark, bark, bark. Bark, bark, bark. Look at his paw. Yar. Yar, yar, yar. <laughs> there <we go>. <laughs> <laughs>